What up, what up, what up? Cut it customs in the building. Yeah, man. Y'all see it. The work that y'all know. Cut it customs Mustang on 32. Man, look, that fender. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. The car had some 26s on it when he, uh, so it, it had some 26s before he brought it to me. And uh, I asked him about, did he want to, uh, get another, uh, I asked him, did he want to get another fender? He said he was cool. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all know I don't mind putting the parts on the car. That ain't no problem. Big 32, Chicago in the building. He should be on the way to pick this car up right now. Let y'all know it's on 32s. It might not look that big from from where y'all seeing it from from the side, but man, the car big. It's a giant. Good stand. It's not too high, not too low. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, them little stuff that's going on with the body. The car had wheels on it before. You know, he. Yeah, I don't know if he gonna paint it. He might paint it. He might not. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing y'all my part of it. Like I said, big 32s on here. Good stance. Not tall. Not low. Good and drive. Drive good. Drive smooth. Drive quiet. Tie straight up and down. No poking at all. None. So, yeah. Like I said, just showing y'all my part of it. Man, somebody... Show me another Mustang on 32, sitting this good, cut this good. Always capping. Y'all seen the alignment, y'all know the alignment was absolutely perfect. No question in the matter. It's about to get dark, but on the road, I gotta paint inside the front fenders. So we gonna jump on in here. Just to be telling about that copyright. So yeah, man, we in here. Most thing on. I'm 32. Little skinny, little road. You know what I'm saying? Let's do some showing off. Turning right. It's everything it need to be. Man, this little, oh, this 2015 Mustang, by the way. And this is the, I'm assuming this is the four liter uh, V6 in here. Man, this little thing got some power. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I'm showing y'all on 32, let me see if I can wait till a car come by. And then I'll show y'all, you know what I'm saying? Regular traffic. Oh, regular traffic. I should have jumped out then, but see, it ain't no cars. I'm trying to get y'all. Okay, see that car going right there? Watch this. Jumping out here. Hitting a little bump. No scrubbing, no rubbing. See, I see that white car up there. Watch this. Not up. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, running the car hard or dogging the car. You know what I'm saying? Still got plenty of gas pedal. I'm just showing y'all how quickly, you know what I'm saying, I'm up to speed. So, you know, if they're saying I'm going 60, I'm probably running 80 for those of y'all that know about cars on wheels. No shaking the steering wheel. Everything smooth, everything quiet. Like I said, look, look at that same white car. Getting up the highway speeds. Well, I'm actually a little above highway speed, but this is without trying. You know what I'm saying? See, I just caught this car without trying. Now, I'm on the highway, and I think the speed limit like 65 or 70. We got a Florida tag in the building. But yeah, man, just easing by. Just cool. Not a problem. Look at that. Even the, even the tree ain't even moving. You know what I'm saying? Good speed. Now, now I'm probably am speeding a little bit right now, but you know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, with with ease, no shaking. I can let the steering wheel go. I'm not using my legs. You know what I'm saying? Like like all of that, man. Good smooth riding. You know what I'm saying? 
I can change lanes hard if I feel like I want to change lanes hard. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on 32s. Y'all see me get in the car. I'm on 32s and I'm changing lanes hard. It's 60 miles per hour, which is probably 80. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still passing by cars, you know what I'm saying, with ease. You know what I'm saying? Like, they driving the speed limit. I'm, I'm a little more than the speed limit. ready to make a hard bait. Now I'm finna show y'all something. I'm slowing down, slowing down. He's on the brakes, turn the signal. Now watch this, I'm finna go off this road onto a, like a, a flat bottom with no rub on 32s and I ain't clean the tire. See that, I just hit that flat bottom real easy. You know what I'm saying? Real, real easy on that flat bottom. That mean I came off an incline and hit a flat level of ground and then it went back into another incline. So it was like a little plateau. Did that with ease. No scrubbing, no rubbing. Did, it's a rough country road right here. It's bumps all over the place. Now this, this is a way rougher road than, than anything I'd I be on. And it's the little access road to my house since the bridge is out. So yeah. And as y'all can see, nothing. Easy. Country road living now. Yeah, I'm I'm straddling these bumps because I don't care even if I'm in a trailblazer, which is you know what I'm saying on factory, like I ain't hitting them bumps tying up my rack and pinion and stuff, you feel me? Like we gonna ride and be straight. All that extra stuff, I ain't with all that. Yeah, man, I basically just wanted to get y'all a ride along. See y'all on these country roads with me hitting all these bumps. You know what I'm saying? We 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 up the speed. We don't been on the highway all that in that little bit of video. You get what I'm saying? I ain't heard a scrub yet. All these good hard turns. All the, you know what I'm saying? Change the lanes hard. Like, who giving y'all this? Have y'all heard a scrub yet? In car experience, which boy could it? Man, y'all might as well be right here in the passenger seat. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, riding, cruising, like everything cool on 32s. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can't make this up, man. From what I'm understanding from a lot of the feedback that I'm getting this, y'all ain't getting this from the people who put y'all rims on y'all car. Y'all hitting bumps and rubbing and, and you you know what I'm saying? Like just unnecessary little rubs and stuff like this. Now I ain't gonna tell you no lie. This is one of the things about this particular car right here and this set up a wheel. That, that's bothering me. This car has uh, the AC lines and the brake lines ran inside of the front fender and it is on, it is inside of the fender wheel. And I wish I could do something about it, but I can't. So, as y'all see, I'm driving this car with no problem. But if you try to attempt to turn this car too deep, right there with a brake line, and the uh, for the brake lines and the AC lines, it's gonna roll up the little metal that I got that's preventing you from rubbing a hole in the uh, AC lines. Now I got that metal right there to save you from busting your AC line. But like I'm saying, I don't want somebody to be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? On the video, he was acting like, you know what I'm saying? That car is, you know. Now watch this turn. This is turn to go to my road. Now watch where I'm at. Now watch this. Boom. On 32, nothing in there. Now, if y'all heard that, that was an articulation rub on the muffler, and I'm gonna show you why. The tires is so close to the mufflers on this car because the offset, y'all seen the rims weren't sticking out at all, so they really, really close to the muffler. So if it leans, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a fair degree, you know what I'm saying, of, 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 lean if i get a fair degree of angle in it the tire just touched and i'm talking about the tire not even the rim it would touch the uh it'll touch the muffler just a little bit now on this car once again can't do nothing about that like he could put some different mufflers on there yeah and it'll get it away from the tire which will kill that right there but i mean y'all and then first of all my driveway is absolute crap like man terrible but I say that all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't finna come down my driveway running no 25, 30 miles per hour. You will be in the shop, you feel me? But like I said, man, just, just another one of them things. 
your boy cut it. I'm giving y'all the real. I'm telling y'all the truth. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is what you get with me. Like, I don't put this car in some situations. I know it's a lot of people on rims way smaller than these. They And, and cars way bigger than this one. They can't do none of the stuff I just did. They're effortless, effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? And with that... With that being said, uh, I think I can leave y'all with the motto. And y'all know what the motto is. Good work.